Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. I'm Zelot and today we are on the Geek Tech server. Um, and you can see here that pretty much picking up from last episode, I am down, or well not down, but I am in the cafeteria area of the castle that I'm building on the planet Wind. Um, so currently I had to deal with, I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the roof and all that sort of stuff in this area. So I, I worked on it and I figured it out. So let me, um, take you on a little tour. Unfortunately, it's dark out right now, but I think, uh, halfway through the episode, it should get light. So we should be good in a bit, but it, it'll, it'll be light enough for me to, to drone it up and kind of show you what's going on here so today what i want to do is i want to um deco and um equip the cafeteria right here i want to just get all this working i've got the growing area going and i'll show you that in a bit uh, let me go outside here and show you what we've got done for the roofing so as we come out you can see i've added this sort of peaked roof structure now you can't really see it but i've also added this part of the building here i built this up um, so it basically starts at this level here. And I just, it's just a big box really. I mean, what it is. And then this section here is actually, the roof section is also covering the second floor walkway to it's super dark out. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go in um, night sight for just to show you around by drone. I'm getting out of range here, but. Um, yeah, there's my tribute to the gods. Uh, did I leave that running? No. Okay. Anyway. So what I did is I built up, uh, the area here and made it double layer, evenly matched it with the, with the existing levels um, and you'll see it all ties into the elevator tower here so the elevator tower is the key to the whole thing getting up and down um, as it should be that's what it's there for the elevator tower now i think this is going to look really good unfortunately and you can't really see it that great at night uh, with night sight on. I'll, I'll remove the night sight for a bit. You can see the texture. It looks like roof tile, so I'm really happy with that. Um, let's come down, and I've decided to go with like a um, similar theme to what I went with downstairs with the with the with the panel work. Uh, all the wood paneling work. So I'm going to try and do that theme wherever I can. Um, I really like the look of that. Although it's too bad that those hangers weren't one higher, but I just couldn't fit it in properly. It, it doesn't matter. It looks okay. Good enough. It's all overkill anyway for my, uh, for a place to store a couple of cargo boxes. Um, Let's see, so those are the, sorry, spin that background. Those are the roof sections for the cafeteria. And then each of these little roof sections leads into like a little loft, um, kind of rustic. I don't know, a little apartment, but the thing about it is you can actually, you get a view out of this one. Some of the areas in the building, you don't really get much of a view. 
So, and then as we cruise into the inner hallway here, this hallway links up the rest of the rooftops and these rooms here, these in interior rooms. Um, so this is the downstairs of this section. Uh, so this is a nice fair size room to do something with. I don't know, whatever. Deco out, obviously. <laughs> like 99% all of these rooms in this building are just going to be for decoration. Um, so another nice size one here. <clears throat> this goes out onto the veranda or, or deck outside here. Uh, it's not covered, so this is all exposed here. This is um, outside. I'll put some. Uh, I'll put some stuff out here. Um, so I really like. I like how that's turned out there. So we'll head back inside here, and you can see these. There's a little exit to the rooftop again here. So I had to space it out in a certain way so it wasn't all cockeyed right so oh you can see I missed missed some text or some paint so when I see stuff like that now at this phase I definitely try and touch it up okay there we go sorry the uh, drone is like spinning all around here uh, is this the second one? No, this is the rooftop above. Where's the, do we not have a light above here? Oh, wow. Let's put one in. Oh, I don't have any of my stuff on me, so that's okay. Let's control panel into uh, my, I put everything back into the base CV blocks. So let's get, grab a stack of each of these, so some concrete, some wood ones, doors, we're gonna need these lights. So we've got some deco. Won't necessarily be using that because in the constructor, I have built a whole bunch of deco. So we'll grab that pot, pack, that pack, that pack, that, that. These fridges, food processors. Uh, you know what, I'll grab these windows just in case too. And I don't know why I have textured sprout protein on me, but okay. Um, let's put up a light. So I'm going to go with the same theme that we've been doing, this light five. Um, oh, it looks like this all needs to be painted. So let's do that. Sorry, I'm getting all distracted from putting the stuff downstairs, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that real quick here. It's just a, it's the OCD in me making me paint this right now in front of you guys. It's like watching paint dry. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Is that is that better? There we go. Let's can we put a light up here? I don't necessarily want to put it on the I don't necessarily want to put it on the on that light or on that window, but you know what? I have that going in on ones downstairs like that, so let's just do it. It's not that heinous. Yes, it is. It looks like it should be outside. So let's zap that off there. We'll put it on the walls then. I just was trying not to deco my, or to put lights on the walls because that'll prevent me from putting deco on things. So let's put that there, right? Because this light takes up that entire block. 
So I can't I can't put anything in that block now. Uh, you know that's better. I di I didn't like it up there. I just I'll sacrifice the block space for for looks. Okay. So let's let's head back downstairs. Um. I think we need to get these. Let me just equip something here. Uh, I think we need to go in here and pick the stuff. So here's my first one here. It has all the fiber and plant protein and uh, aloe vera. It has my cava beans. We'll get all this picked. You can see I'm missing some some grow plots. We'll get those installed. I just had to pick the fiber first. I think uh, I might have enough after picking that. Maybe not. Actually, probably not because I can only make four. So I think I need five. <laughs> okay. We'll see if we got any other fiber. I know we do in my ship. Oh, apparently I'm full of inventory and starving to death. So let's go into the fridge here. Got one down in the workshop installed with some food in it. Oh, forgot. Brought down some pie from the supply depot. I made a whole bunch of cans of food and I left it up there. That's okay. Next time I go up there, I can grab them. And I did bring some down anyway. Um... And a whole stack of pies, so yeah, pie. Uh, okay, so let's see. We got nowhere to put this except for the fridge, so we got to do that. Oh, I don't need that to go in the fridge. That can go in the fridge. That can go in the fridge. That can stay out. Those don't have expiration. Okay. I'm just picking this. Get these cava beans too. Because I'm a completionist. Last one. There we go. Oh, did I miss a couple of these guys? Yeah. Okay. So we'll just store those in the uh, workshop fridge for now. And we'll put that in the Let's put it in the processor. Got one installed downstairs in the workshop. So we'll put that in there. I got some water in there already. Already got tomatoes and pumpkins that I picked once. So we do have food production starting here, which is great. And I don't have to rely on the CV. Okay, so let's get this all picked. So this is my canned veggie room. Um, it should make, how much was that? I'd have to look, I think it's 18 of each. So that should give me 18 cans, right? Cause it requires, uh, um, basically one pick pile of oh, inventory. So let's just put this in the food processor because I have a feeling we're going to be able to make some canned veggies pretty soon. Yeah, all it requires a steel plate. So let's go into the constructor, get some steel plate. Uh, do I have actually any in a cargo box called steel plate. I don't have, oh, I do have steel plates. There we go. Okay. So we'll put that in the, where are you? In the workshop food processor. And we can now make canned veggies. Let's get that fired up. And we'll keep picking. Just 
just want to get this all picked out and processed and then we'll uh, we'll start installing some deco and I want to get the uh, some more fridges in obviously now that we've got food production going I need more than just one fridge so we're gonna we're gonna take care of that real quick here in fact we're gonna do that like right now so this cafeteria I'm thinking this back wall is where all the gear is gonna be right and then we're gonna come out with uh, with like a a bar or something that wraps around I guess yeah now we want do we want an entrance right here into it all I think we do as much as I'd love that to just connect and be and be fluid I don't think it needs to be. So let's let's um you know what? Let's get the fridge. You know what? I actually I really want to put a fridge and a I want to put fridges and food processors in each room, really, in each one of these. I just don't know where to do it. I can't here because the windows are taking up that block space <sighs> what about if I hung them from the ceiling and did it close enough to the windows so that when we're looking out the window from the hall we'll look right underneath it let's try that let's let's take a look here I'm gonna Oh, there's another object in the, yeah, okay. Come on, find a spot. Come on, drone, you can do it. What's taking up space? Is it the uh, tomato plant? Really? Okay. Let's go here then. Oops, my crazy drone driving. Mm, okay, so I think we only have space well, we could do it right there up against the window. I'm not really liking that. Um, although it's not that bad. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. from. So let's get a fridge out. Put these bandits here. We'll get the food processors here. And uh, let's just put that stuff in the food processor for now. So it's not taking up all my inventory space. We'll keep this, keep this pumping out food. So there, we'll eat our first can of veggies produced on site on the castle, by the castle facilities. Now that was the workshop food processor, but I, it still counts. It still counts. Now let's, um, Put this in. Um, so like in front of the light. Right? Okay, can I actually access it from there? What does it look like? Actually, it doesn't look bad at all because... Here, let me turn that off. It doesn't look bad at all because it's really darkened out by the window. And then, although, is the window not facing the right way? I want the window to be really light on this side, right? To see right through. <clears throat> let's, let's see. Stop it. Come on. Uh, no, I think it is light. It's just because we're on such an extreme angle, we can't really see it. Okay. So that's good. I like that. Um, 
Let's see if I can actually access it. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Should I flip that? Rotate it so the flat side is... Let's, let's do that. Oh, yes. You're going to do that, aren't you? Oh, 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 I got a spawn off. Okay. Um, so let's bring out our multi-tool. No. Multi-tool. And what do we want to do? We want to rotate. Change and rotate. So we want to like spin it on end, right? This way. So... One, two, and done. So let's see what that looks like. That looks better, right? That looks better. Now the flat part is touching the ceiling and that part, the, the contour part is hanging. I got ceiling fridges. Okay, so let's do another one right there, because I want to put two in each room. Um, so that's wrong. Oh, not that way. I want to rotate. Wait, did I have it the right way before? Oh, now I can't tell. No. It's the other way. It's this way. Yeah, there we go. Countered. Okay. So we've got two fridges in. And then... I want to do a food processor up here. So... I don't know why. I just do, because this will be the canned veggie food processor. That's why. Okay. Let's take a look, see what that looks like from the outside. And, oh, can I access the food processor? Although, that one's, it looks like I can. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, if I paint them gray, they might stand out a little bit more. So I'm, what I might do is like paint them black. To make them stand out even less. So you can hardly see them from here. It doesn't actually obstruct the view at all. It does not look hideous. It does not look hideous at all, actually. Okay, I like it. Let's go with it. <coughs> Get these in. Now that's upside down because it's remembering how I placed the last one. That one goes in upside down too then. And food processor should remember how it went. Oh, no. One more. Right like that. Okay. Okay. We're getting equipment installed. Nice. So now that we got those in, let's figure out how do we want to do this? Do we want like the fridge in the corner or the food processor in the corner? Okay, so Get the food proof, but now let's see it's 
Let's just. So if we do the food processor in the corner. Oh no, I got it, I got it. Here we go, food processor right here. And then... No. No, let's, let's get the... I'll take a look at it after, but... What I should do is get the deco portion in here. Okay, so what we want is we want the thin reception table, thin reception table. Do we want the high thin ones? Corner thin corner. Let's let's take a look at both. So we're gonna go reception table. Now I don't want it up against the wall necessarily because I want access right there. So so let's do reception table and then That's not that bad. Do I do another one there and then? Or do I do, no, I think I do the corner right away, right? So let's try that. Yeah. And then another straight. Um, and another straight. And then... Another straight and a corner right here. Yep. Now do I close that off too or do I leave that? Not sure if I need to close it off. It looks more functional with it open. So let's put in some fridges. Now these ones are going to be all upside down, right? Oh, I'm spinning them the wrong way anyway. That's upside down. Okay, so there we go. Get that. Now, do I want to leave a gap? I think I do, because we want... Well, one's got to go there. Now, I could do two high, I guess. Let's do a stacking fridge. And then from there, we need some like shelving deco or something, right? Something right there. Let's take a look. What do we got? Oh, kitchen counter. Right. That's what I need to put in as a kitchen counter. So will that fit over here? Yes. So the fridge, kitchen counter, and then food processor. Okay, there we go. This is how it's going to go. This makes more sense. Let's disassemble that. And then we're going to go kitchen counter, double stacking fridge, and then the um, 
food processor. And let's spin it so the console is facing the right direction. That looks correct. Okay, uh, there we go. There we go, we're, we've got stuff happening now and I believe this is actually a container. Yep. Fits a few things. So that's cool. There we go. We got a sink with some counter space. We've got our, our serving bar. It's too bad it had that glass thing on the top. Be nice when they have more blocks for us to choose from for stuff like this. It'll be, um, we'll be able to flavor it a little more. And this is way too, I would have liked a, um, a wood bar. Hmm. No, there's no, it would just, no, there's nothing that I could do with wood blocks, is there? Eh, I'll play around with that later. For now, this works. Okay, so we've got a, um, we've got the gear in. Now we need, what do we need? We need some tables and chairs, right? So, what do we got to choose from? We've got the dining table benches. I think I want to go with those on the inside, right? So which direction do I want them facing? Uh, I'm not really sure about the Feng Shui thing. Um, I think I want it facing that direction. I want a space between the pillars and each table. So we'll go like that and then like there, that. Um, Yep, put one there, and there, and there. Okay, I'm not sure if we need to put any more in. I don't think we do. Although, looks a little empty there. But I think we can do some other deco this area. Um, that's plenty for now. Here, let me turn that off. So... That's looking pretty good, huh? That looks pretty good. We've got our cafeteria pretty much set up now. Um, we can look at some other deco later on, but I think for now that kind of, we get the gist of it. It looks like a cafeteria, although it is. Do I need more benches? Do, it, do I really need to put more in? I know I want to. Ugh. No, because I we can do other stuff here. I think I'll hold off with the... I can do... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> good enough for now. Okay, so I think... Oh, you know what we should do? Let's color this up. Get our light gray, see what happens. Oh yeah, okay. Yep. Okay, let's get this all going. Make sure all that, that's all that color. Okay, yep. Yeah, I want everything to match. Okay, now are these paintable? Yep. 
Okay. <clears throat> okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm really liking. Okay, so here's our cafeteria. Let's go throw some stuff out. Now, do I want to go with the, I want to go with the nicer stuff on the outside. What, what I mean by nicer, it's, you know, I don't want to go with like a picnic table. I want, uh, they don't have, that's about the closest thing to a bistro table. And they've got those. You know, huh, I should have done that on the inside, up for up against the walls. That'll flesh that out a little. Yeah, let's up against the walls and the window. So we we would put them like, oh, they're kind of peeny, aren't they? So they're singles. Okay. So here we go. This is what we do with the, with the space. We fill it up with, uh, with these smaller tables. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a little tight together, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I want them to line up with the tables, the other tables. I don't want to overkill the table thing here. That's better. And yep. Because then we can put some actual deco in the corners. We can't do anything in that space up against the windows though because they're taking up that space. But we can go like this. And I guess for these ones should I have them facing that direction still? Have everyone facing the same direction? I don't know. Is that what you're supposed to do? Let's see. That works. So we've got some booths. We've got some tables. Lots of seating. Hell, tons of seating. Um, I might want to go with these outside, or do I want to go with the cafe style? I think I might want to go with the cafe style. So let's do I don't want it up against the wall. We want. We want to keep it back at least one and then move one space and one, move a space and one, move a space and one. Oh, that's looking awfully busy, isn't it? I don't think we need that many out here. Let's, um, Let's cut this in half. Let's do, we'll get rid of that guy. We'll get rid of that guy. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, and then we want one, two, three, four. One there. 
continue this around. One, two, three, four, one there. And I think we'll be able to get another one in here too. Yeah, see that spacing's better. One, two, three. Mm. You know what? We are not going to do anything on this side yet. Or are we? Sure. I wish we had some umbrella picnic cable type, like beach table. Oh, okay, it's just going to go there. So that means we'll put that one there. Okay. And then we'll put some uh, deco in. So do we? did we grab that? Yeah, we did. So, I don't know. I'm thinking plants, tropical plants. And <laughs> that's funny. Um, Is it deciduous? That looks carnivorous, doesn't it? Huh? Maybe that could survive on wind. Well, that's what's going in the corners for now. There we go. It's not looking so... So do I do, so that corner, do I do it in the back corner then? So put one here, and then another one, is that in the, uh, right up against this side? Okay, something like that. Yeah, I don't want it too busy with trees either. Uh, you know what? That's probably all it needs. That's probably all it needs. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not looking too, too busy. Um, although the... Looks like too much seeding inside though, doesn't it? Hmm, maybe not. No, not really. It's got the right spacing and stuff, so you know what? We're just going to leave this. We're going to leave that the way it is. I like that. So there we go. I think, I think we're done decoing the cafeteria and setting up the finish setting up the grow. Oh, you know what? Uh, did I put that stuff in here? Yes, I did. Do I have the means to make grow plots so nutrient solution so that's all I need is nutrient solution eh okay so I don't have any rotten food let's see what I got on the CV I might have to I might have to create some rotten food not like I haven't done that before I've created hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of rotting food on purpose. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what we got. I guess I could have just, I could have just jumped over the edge really. Probably would have been quicker. Okay, so let's see. 19, yikes. I should have grabbed a bunch from the, uh, I thought I was going to have enough. 
Well, that's okay. I'll take half of it. That's enough. That's enough to make the rest. So we'll just jump down. I'm liking the look of that. <clears throat> I'm liking the look of it. And it's starting to get some functionality to it. Okay. Let's go into the... Right now we'll just use the workshop one because that's the one with all the stuff in it. So now that should allow us to... Oh, need rock dust. Okay, that's easy. Pretty sure I got a crap ton of rock. Nope, hardly any. Okay, we'll grab a couple of those and then go back to the food processor. And we can just throw that in. It's like a regular constructor. It can actually make the rock dust itself. It just needs the basic component. Okay. So that should now give us, yes. Uh, we needed five of those. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. And why? Because we don't have durians. Okay, that's right. So you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some rotten food. Pretty simple to do. We'll take them out of the food processor. And I'll just use the very bottom cargo box and I'll throw them in there. <laughs> and that's it. It's not an airtight or it's not a uh, refrigerated cargo box. It's not airtight either, but it doesn't matter. It's not refrigerated. So that stuff will rot. Tomatoes will rot faster, the pumpkins eventually. That'll give me 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20 uh, spoiled food eventually. So that should be sufficient to carry me forward in the foreseen future for rotten food. Okay. So, excellent. Um... Let's go back upstairs and we'll grab those grow plots and we'll install those. And we'll get the, um, the other sprouts done. I think it was just a uh, protein. Okay. Not that one, this one. It'll be protein and pears. Okay, so let's see. Go back into the control panel. We'll grab the um, stuff out of the food processor. We'll eat some of these canned veggies. Okay. And let's get this ready to go. We'll put... Um, we can stack that back into there. What I've got for textured, I don't have any. Huh, okay. Okay. I don't have any pear. I might have to uh, make some. Okay. So let's equip that. And we'll get these installed. There we go. There's the rest of the plots, and we have some pears that we can pick right here. We need one, two, three, well, here, I might as well, you know what? Let's just pick it all. Well, I'm gonna run out of inventory, aren't I? Come on. Sometimes these, um, the target boxes on these vegetables can be a pain in the butt. Okay, so we've got these pears. I think we'll put in here and we'll make some more. We need two more sprouts, or we need three more, so we'll make 
two more because that'll give us four. It's always good to have an extra sprout anyway. And then this texture plant protein I should install. And we can put the cava beans in there. We can put the wheat in there for now. Oh, we can make pie. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's get these in. So one goes there, one goes there, and this is going to be a pair here. So I should have grabbed that. Well, it's in there. Okay, easy enough to get back to it. There's the four pair. So we'll just substitute for that. We'll put that in the food processor. I like to store my sprouts in the like the constructor, the main constructor food processor, the one that builds sprouts. Anyway, let's get this done and done. Our garden is complete. <clears throat> well, that was excellent. Um, this is probably, you know what, now that we got, let's, let's just pick the rest of this now. <laughs> let's, let's get all this. We can get production going of, uh, like bandages and stuff now. Um, but I really need to go back to dirt and get a whole bunch more of the plasma so I can make large med kits. Not that I'm suffering for large med kits. I got like 42 on me now. I haven't really done much of entry and I've been just concentrating on this, on this structure. Okay. There we have it. My garden is complete. The cafeteria is set up. Um, and painted. Uh, later on down the road, I'll be I'll be grouping everything properly and probably putting things into ca um, certain sections. That's probably how I'll group everything by. Well, guys, not bad. Definitely looks like a cafeteria. Um, there's no denying that. I like it. I like it. Well, guys, I don't think I have anything else I can hang on here. They don't have any artwork yet for deco. Uh, I'm sure that's coming, but um, there we have it. I have a functional room. Yay! One more functional room to the castle. More sections are getting finished. Oh, you know what? Before before the sun goes down, almost forgot. I was going to show you guys. We'll we'll do a we'll do we'll pan out here. And um yeah, pan out so that we can see how it looks now. So, so not bad, eh? Not bad. It's looking pretty freaking massive already, and I haven't even gotten to the, to the, to the, the large building, my own private suite, which is going to actually be also the art feature. Um, so I plan on having a suite my my bedroom suite is going to be or my living quarters I guess let's call it is going to be also an art feature of the structure so uh, but that is going to be the very very last project I do because it's going to be very time consuming and I don't know if I'll be able to finish it in time so yeah so there you have it guys it's really coming along now eh? isn't it starting to, it's it's actually starting to look like a castle the um, with all this tied together now. So this area is the next area I'm going to work on. This is going to be the medical center. Um, so I got to dig that out more. I've got to, I'm going to make a two story uh, 
building. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this space yet, but this area here is going to be the medical center, and that's going to connect in with the with my um, whoop. Sorry, <clears throat> lost connection there. Here, I'll just run over there. I love how uh, low gravity just bounce forever. Still got a bunch of uh, a whole bunch of texturing to do. This this is pretty much a construction area going on. So this, woof. Let's not do that again. This is. Come on. <laughs> this is. I like the look of those towers. That's pretty cool. Even though they're not going to be a very... They are a prominent feature. And it's funny how they just developed from being the elevator shafts. That's what the elevator shafts became. Anyway. <clears throat> so I've got to dig this out quite a bit. Because this building is going to come into here. And come across. And... Um, is going to be my uh, machine shop. So basically, it, it's going to be, you know, where most guys hang out. <laughs> um, so it's going to be a fairly substantial structure. Uh, and I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the, the regular theme of it being of having palisades. So this is going to come up pretty high. And then cut into the mountainside. And then the wall is going to continue over and connect up with the um, with the tower there. Uh, and then the my this here. Oh, sorry, I just can't get my drone close enough. I don't want to go up there. I'll show you that. That's more of a that's a special feature. That's going to be where my bedroom suite and art work is. So I'm going to leave the episode here. We accomplished, I think, what what I wanted to. I decoded that out. Got the Got all the food production up and going. Um, we now have pretty much a fully functional base. Everything else I do now at this point is just fluff, really. Uh, because I have everything now. Now that those grow plots are in and the and the uh, and the rest of the food production is actually going. That was it. That was kind of the final piece to making it a fully functional base. Now I just add my own personal touches to it, really. I mean, not that I haven't been already, but um, yeah, I like it. From down here, it looks pretty majestic from down here. I, I, I'm, I'm really jonesing it. That's, that's going to look just amazing, I think, when it's from here and from the valley i think we're going to be able to see this structure from far out into the valley so lots and lots and lots of work to do still um i'm thinking i'm about halfway done overall overall about halfway done so not bad um really starting to take shape really looking like it's something now instead of just a big black wall on the mountainside uh, even though from that side that's all you can still see <laughs> but uh, anyway I'm going to leave it here guys so if you like this episode like and subscribe uh, the next episode we're going to be doing some um, I'm going to try constructing this whole area and digging it all out because it's putting up the basic walls is really I mean kind of boring right I think decoing out uh, is a little is is cooler for you guys so uh, i'll put the equipment in and deco it out uh probably on the next video uh until then guys 
you have yourselves an awesome day.